O Narda, after performing the pentuplication of the Bhutas, elements and their attributes, sound, etc., I evolved the gross elements, space, wind, fire, water, and the earth, out of them, and created mountains, seas, trees, etc., and the periods of time ending with Kali and other ages. I created many other things as well, but, O oh sage, I was not satisfied. Then, O oh sage, I meditated on Shiva and his consort Amba and created aspirants. I created Marichi from my eyes, Brigu from my heart, Angiris from the head, and the great sage Pulaha from the vital breath Vyana. I created Pulastya from Udana, Vashishta from Samana, Kratu from Apana, Atri from the ears, and Daksha from the prana. I then created you from my lap and the sage Kardama from my shadow. Finally, out of my conception, I created Dharma, which is the means for the achievement of everything. O foremost among sages, creating these excellent sadhakas, thanks to the favor of Mahadev, I became contented. Then, O oh dear one, Dharma, born out of my conception, assumed the form of Manu at my bidding and was engaged in activity by the aspirants. Then I created from the different parts of my body innumerable sons, suras, devas, asuras, demons, and many others, after assigning them different bodies, O sage. I was then prompted by Shiva present within me, and hence, O sage, I split myself into two, assuming two forms. One half had the form of a woman, and the other half that of a man. I then created in her a couple, the means of excellent nature. The man was Svayambhuva Manu, the greatest of the means of creation. The woman was Shatarupa, a yogini, an ascetic woman. The auspicious lady was accepted by Manu with due matrimonial rites. O oh dear one, he created beings through her by the process of sexual intercourse. He begot of her two sons, Priyavrata and Uttanapad, and three daughters, Akuti, Devahuti, and Prasuti, all of them very famous. He gave Akuti in marriage to Ruchi, and the middle one to Kardama. He gave Prasuti, the younger sister of Uttanapada, in marriage to Daksha. Their sons and progeny are spread over the world, both mobile and immobile. Ruchi begot of Akuti the couple Yajna and Dakshina. Twelve sons were born of Yajna and Dakshina. O sage, Kardama begot of Devahuti many daughters. Daksha begot twenty-four daughters. Thirteen daughters, Shraddha, etc., were given to Dharma in marriage by Daksha. O lordly sage, listen to the names of Dharma's wives. Their names are Shraddha, faith, Lakshmi, fortune, Dhriti, fortitude, Tushti, satiety, Pushti, nourishment, Medha, intelligence, Kriya, right activity, Buddhi, intellect, wisdom, Lajja, bashfulness, Vasu, wealth, Shanti, peace, calmness, Siddhi, achievement, accomplishment, and the thirteen is Kirti, fame. The eleven younger daughters were Kyati, Sati, Sambhuti, Smriti, Priti, Kshama, Sannati, Anurupa, Urja, Svaha, and Svada, who were respectively married by Bhrigu, Bhava, Shiva, Marichi, the sage Angiras, Pulastya, Pulaha, the excellent sage Kratu, 
Atri Vasishta, the fire god, and the Pitrus, manes. The great aspirants, Brigu and others, took the hands of these famous daughters. Thereupon the entire universe, consisting of three worlds, mobile and immobile, was filled with progeny. Thus, according to their own actions and at the bidding of Shiva, innumerable famous brahmanas were born out of the various living beings. In another kalpa, Daksha had sixty daughters. Of them, ten were given to Dharma, twenty-seven to the moon, thirteen to Kashyapa. O Narada, he gave four to Garuda of excellent form. Two to each of these, Brigu, Angiras, and Krishashva. Born of them are many children in the world of mobile and immobile. O foremost among the sages, the children of the thirteen daughters given to the noble-souled Kashyapa by Daksha spread over the three worlds. Mobile or immobile, nothing was void. Devas, sages, demons, trees, birds, and mountain creepers born of the daughters of Daksha filled the entire space between Patala and Satyaloka. The whole cosmic egg was filled. Never was it a void. Thus, at the bidding of Shiva, the creation was perfectly accomplished by Brahma. Daksha's daughter Sati was perfectly guarded by Rudra at the tip of his trident for the sake of penance. Shiva had created her himself, and later for the activities of the world she was born of Daksha. In order to uplift the devotees, the Lord indulged himself in many divine sports. Shiva manifested himself in three ways, in the form of Vaikuntha, Vishnu, born of the left limb, in my form of Brahma, born of the right limb, and in the form of Rudra, born of the heart. Vishnu, Rudra, and I represent the three gunas. Shiva is free from gunas. He is the supreme Brahman, the undecaying. Vishnu is of sattva attribute. I, Brahma, am of rajas attribute. And Rudra is of tamas attribute. This is only in view of the activities in the world. But in fact and in name it is otherwise. Vishnu is of tamasika nature within, but externally sattvika. Rudra is of sattvika nature within, but of tamasic nature outside. I am of rajasic nature throughout. Lakshmi, the goddess of speech, is of rajasic nature. Sati is of the sattvika nature, and Lakshmi is of tamasic nature. The great goddess Shiva is of the three natures. Shiva became Sati and Shiva married her. At the sacrifice of her father, Daksha, she cast off her body, which she did not take again, and went back to her own region. Shiva incarnated as Parvati at the request of the Devas. It was after performing a severe penance that she could attain Shiva again. O lordly sage, she came to be called by various names, such as Kali, Chandika, Chamunda, Vijaya, Jaya, Jayanti, Bhadrakali, Durga, Bhagavati, Kamakya, Kamada, Amba, Mridani, and Sarva Mangala. These various names confer worldly pleasures and salvation according to qualities and action. The name Parvati is very common. The goddesses of various attributes and the three deities of various attributes perform the diverse excellent activities of creation in mutual collaboration. O excellent among sages, I have thus explained the mode of creation to you. The entire cosmic egg was created by me at the bidding of Shiva. Shiva is the supreme Brahman. The three deities Vishnu, I, and Rudra are his manifestations according to the difference in the attributes. 
the independent supreme Atman, who is both Nirguna and Saguna, sports with Shiva in the beautiful Shiva Loka. His perfect and complete incarnation is Rudra. He is Shiva himself. The five-faced Lord has made his beautiful mansion in Kailasha. Even if the whole Brahmanda were destroyed, it knows no destruction. <laughs>